The Motorola Moto Turbo digital land mobile radio system would fit well into a disaster scenario such as the Deepwater Horizon Gulf oil spill. Day-to-day -day operations on an oil platform miles offshore would require each worker to carry some form of communication device. Due to a lack of cellular service, this defaults the device to a portable two-way radio handset. This is a North Coast oil rig. We've been experienced a rupture in one of our oil lines. Uh, there's been an explosion. Oil is leaking everywhere. It has caught fire. There are several crew members missing in action. Uh, please send all available personnel for evacuation. We will begin unloading personnel into the lifeboats immediately. Copy that. Over. Motor Turbo radios combine all the features of an analog push to talk radio with the added benefit of text messaging using digital transmission. Integration with third-party email programs such as Neoterra's Zapmail installed at a dispatch location on shore provide real-time status updates from each user on the platform to supervisory personnel. Should an incident occur requiring emergency assistance or evacuation, a user on the rig can immediately send request for help messages and keep responding agencies informed of changes with status message updates based on canned messages or freeform text entered using the keypad on each radio. All message traffic is automatically archived on the end user devices and the dispatch console for review after incident operations are finished. Although this type of smart radio does not have the ability to send a standard XML common alerting protocol or CAT message, it is one of the few available technologies that came close to achieving this goal with a handheld two-way radio device. Stramusa wishes to thank the Edgewood Chemical and Biological Center and the Monmouth University Rapid Response Institute for their support on the RISES project.